Hi Xbus fans, Samson here. I am now back from my recent trip in Göttingen, Germany, where on behalf of Crown Xbus, I got to see and feel the Xbus for the first time in reality. The event was held at Electric Brand's new factory in Göttingen, sorry if I keep butchering that name, where they are developing not only the Xbus but also the Avita, which is a very cool small electric car. How'd you get out of this? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and the Naito products which are a range of electric bikes and scooters. These were also present at the event, but in this video, I'll be focusing on the X-Bus Camper, as that's why you're here. For the first time in public, they had the box module alongside the camper module, and I spent a long time flipping chairs, opening doors, and pushing buttons on both as I figured out how everything worked. There were plenty of X-Bus personnel on hand to answer questions, or to ask me not to do something because this is a prototype. So uh, please bear that in mind that this is still a prototype. The X-Bus is still being developed and everything you hear in this video is still subject to change. So starting on the outside of the X-Bus, the color on show was called Lime Green. It offers an iconic design that stays true to its original concept, which echoes inspiration from the classic Volkswagen camper vans that you may be familiar with. One question I asked early on is, where is the charging port? The answer is underneath the logo on the front, which apparently pops open to reveal the Type 2 connector. Moving on to the top of the camper, we find the solar panels. These span across as three elements covering the front chassis, the center pop-up roof element, and the rear. The peak estimated charging capacity of the solar panels is still being finalized, but on Electric Brand's website, it says 260 watts from the front, 360 watts from the center, and 200 watts from the rear. And at the very back, you will find access to the removable battery packs, which slide out in drawers, as we have seen previously. Before we jump inside, at the end of this video, I'd recommend that you visit crownxbus.co.uk to find out everything that we know about the Xbus, along with the latest news, the option to register your interest, or reserve your Xbus with delivery expected late 2023 slash early 2024. Now let's jump inside to the front cabin. As you can see, it's all very clean and simple. The steering wheel offers all the buttons that you would usually find in a center console on the wheel itself. It all just feels very nice and clicky. I'll quickly mention here that the X-Bus will be coming to the UK as right-hand drive, so you can tick that one off your question box. Behind the steering wheel are triggers either side to increase or decrease regenerative braking. Either side of the cabin, you can find two USB charging ports and underneath, two USB-C charging ports. And then in the center, you will find a 10.2 inch touchscreen display, which includes Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Okay, now for the camper itself. Opening the door, which has this little slidey windows on it, first thing you'll see is this unit in the middle. This provides multiple storage solutions, a little table that folds up or down, and a gas hob that's hidden underneath the top of the unit. In the demo on display, they had a TV right over it. So I would recommend moving that TV if you plan on warming up your baked beans. Also, I'd like to point out that the element that devised the chassis has been removed in the camper module. So as you can see from the box module on show, this can be moved by the user by these little clips either side, if they wish, which is lovely. Now the passenger seats fold in three different ways. For convenience sake, I'll call them flat, seated and bed. In flat mode, you can easily walk from one side to the other. And of course, you now have access to the pop-up roof, which is very, very easy to maneuver. I'm about five foot 10 on a good day, and I still had plenty of space above my head. In seating mode, you have access to two seat belts either side of the unit in the middle. And in bed mode, the back of the seat folds down to lay flat, revealing your bed. Unfortunately, no one was able to lie in the bed, so I can't comment on the space and comfort, but by extending the back of the camper, like so, that makes the expected measurements of the sleeping area to be about 210 centimeters long. Additionally, there are multiple pockets around the sleeping area for all your little knickknacks. And that is our first look at the camper. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. As I mentioned earlier, for all your Xbus goodness, visit crownxbus.co.uk. Also, follow us on our Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Xbus London. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. My name's Samson. I'll see you next time. Bye. Triggers either side to increase or decrease regenerative braking. Regenerative, regenerative, 
Regenerative breaking. It's regenerative breaking. Bloody hell. Really struggled with that word. To increase or decrease regenerative breaking. Yes!